Paul F. Thimios Sangas, February 14, 1941 to January 18, 1997, was an American politician. He represented Massachusetts in both houses of the United States Congress, holding office from 1975 to 1985. He won seven states as a candidate in the 1992 Democratic presidential primaries, losing the nomination to Bill Clinton. Born in Lowell, Massachusetts, Songas graduated from Yale Law School and the Kennedy School of Government. After working for the Peace Corps and as an aide to Congressman F. Bradford Morse, Songas successively won election as a city councilor and county commissioner. In 1974, he won election to the United States House of Representatives, representing Massachusetts's 5th Congressional District. In Massachusetts's 1978 Senate election, he defeated incumbent Republican Senator Edward Brooke. In Congress, Songas established a reputation as a social liberal and fiscal conservative. Songas was diagnosed with non-Hodgkin lymphoma in 1983 and declined to seek re-election in 1984. He returned to politics after undergoing a successful bone marrow transplant. He experienced early success in the 1992 Democratic presidential primaries, winning the New Hampshire primary, but withdrew from the race in March 1992 and endorsed Clinton. An opponent of deficit spending, Songas co-founded the Concord Coalition. He died in 1997 of complications from pneumonia and non-Hodgkin lymphoma. Early life Songas was born in Lowell, Massachusetts, along with a twin sister, Thalia, to a once-working-class family who came to own a very successful dry-cleaning business in Lowell. His father, Ephthemios George Songas, was a Greek immigrant, and his mother, Katina, nay Pappas, originally Panagiotopoulos, was of Greek descent. Songas attended Dartmouth College, graduating in 1962 with an A.B. in economics, then Yale Law School and the Kennedy School of Government at Harvard University before settling in Lowell, Massachusetts. He served as a Peace Corps volunteer in Ethiopia from 1962 to 1964, and as Peace Corps country director in the West Indies from 1967-1968. In 1967 Songas, working as an aide to Congressman F. Bradford Morse, met Nikki Savage, who was spending the summer in Arlington, Virginia. They were married in 1969, and had three daughters, Ashley, Katina, and Molly. Nikki Songas was a U.S. representative from Massachusetts from 2007 to 2019. When Songas ran for office, out of concern that people would mispronounce his last name, there were bumper stickers saying, Senator Songas. Political career Songas first entered politics as a city councillor, elected to the Lowell City Council in 1969 where he served two consecutive terms. Songas went on to serve as a county commissioner of Middlesex County, Massachusetts. In 1974 he ran for United States House of Representatives from a district anchored by Lowell. The district had elected only three Democrats in its entire existence and had been in Republican hands continuously since 1895. However, in the massive Democratic wave of the post-Watergate election of 1974, he defeated freshman Republican Paul W. Cronin by a 21-point margin. He was re-elected in 1976, becoming the first Democrat to hold the district for more than one term. Increasingly popular and well-liked in Massachusetts, in 1978 he ran for and was elected to the Senate, defeating incumbent Republican Edward Brooke by a 10-point margin. In 1983, he was diagnosed with non-Hodgkin's lymphoma and in 1984 announced his retirement from the Senate. His seat went to fellow Democrat, 2004 presidential nominee and United States Secretary of State John Kerry, after undergoing a bone marrow transplant to treat the disease in 1986 and receiving a clean bill of health from doctors in 1991, he returned to politics, running for his party's nomination for president in 1992. Until the 1992 campaign, Songas had never lost an election. He was the first former Peace Corps volunteer elected to the U.S. Senate 1978. In 1974, he and Christopher Dodd were the first elected to the U.S. House of Representatives. 
In October 1979, after the Senate Energy and Natural Resources Committee voted in favor of Alaska public lands legislation, President Jimmy Carter issued a statement thanking Songas for his leadership in strengthening the bill. In May 1982, Songas was one of eight senators to vote against a $177.9 billion military authorization bill for 1983. In July 1982, Songas met with Prime Minister of Israel Menachem Begin, questioning Begin over where negotiations would fit in the event that Chairman of the Palestine Liberation Organization Yasser Arafat concede the right of Israel to exist along with reneging the covenant of the PLO over calls for Israel's abolition and replacement by a secular state. Songas afterwards stated the meetings were distressing. During a May 27, 1983 hearing on the legal effects of the Equal Rights Amendment, the first in over a decade on the amendment, Songas was questioned by Utah Senator Orrin Hatch over the measure, being described by The New York Times as visibly shaken by the treatment Senator Hatch gave him. Songas delivered an opening statement and replied, That issue will be decided in the courts, in response to most questions by Hatch. Political positions Songas was generally viewed as a social liberal and an economic moderate. He was especially known for his efforts in Congress in support of historic preservation and environmental conservation on one hand, and for his pro-business economic policies on the other. He played a major role while in the House in the creation of Lowell National Historical Park, as well as in the establishment or expansion of a number of other national park system areas. He played an equally key role later in the Senate, working closely with then Interior Secretary Cecil Andrus, in successful passage of the massive Alaska National Interest Lands Conservation Act of 1980, which had been hopelessly deadlocked in the Senate since its original passed by the House in 1978. Relative to business and economic matters, Songas focused in particular on the federal budget deficit, a cause he continued to champion even after his presidential primary campaign ended, by co founding the Concord Coalition. Songas was criticized on occasion by opponents as a Reaganomics-style politician, and as being closer to Republicans with regard to such issues. The Boston Herald editorialized that his political philosophy had far more in common with 1990s-era Republican Mitt Romney who crossed over to vote for Songas in the 1992 primaries than with traditional Massachusetts Democrats like Ted Kennedy. In the mid-1980s, he shocked many of the members of the Americans for democratic action by telling them that they should focus more on economic growth than wealth redistribution. He once quipped, if anyone thinks the words government and efficiency belong in the same sentence, we have counseling available. <laughs> Presidential campaign Topic. Primaries Described as a long-shot campaign by The New York Times, Paul Songas was the first Democrat to launch a bid for the 92 presidency, on April 30, 1991 in his hometown of Lowell, Massachusetts. Songas' campaign was banking heavily on early success in New Hampshire. Like many of the candidates, Songas ignored the 1992 contest in Iowa, which was expected to go overwhelmingly to Iowa's Senator Tom Harkin. Songas hoped that his New England independence and fiscal conservatism from neighboring Massachusetts would appeal to Granite Staters. He achieved recognition for the bluntness and clarity of his plan, distributing a short book titled A Call to Economic Arms, which focused on such issues as the growing federal deficit. When asked why he did not have a tax cut plan like the other candidates, Songas famously answered, I'm not trying to play Santa Claus. During the early weeks of 1992, things seemed to be going Songas' way when one of the potential major candidates, Bill Clinton, stumbled over issues involving marital infidelity and avoidance of the military draft during Vietnam. While Clinton was hurt by these issues, the damage seemed to bottom out several weeks before the New Hampshire primary. While Songas won the most votes and was declared the winner of the New Hampshire primary, the narrow victory 33.20% to 24.78% gave each candidate nine delegates. Clinton's advisor James Carville tagged Clinton with the label, the comeback kid, and claimed that Clinton's campaign was back on track. 
While ostensibly the front runner, Songas was already considered by many to be the underdog to Clinton given the support the Arkansas governor had heading into Super Tuesday. Following the New Hampshire primary, Songas was unable to match Clinton's fundraising. Clinton later went on to win most of the Super Tuesday primaries. Songas did go on to win delegate contests in Delaware, Maryland, Arizona, Washington, Utah, and Massachusetts, but his campaign never recovered from Clinton's comeback. Clinton won the primaries of most of the more populous and delegate rich states. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Convention Eventually, Songas pulled out of the race on the 19th of March 1992 and endorsed Clinton. However, a number of the Songas delegates continued to support the former senator and voted for Songas on the first ballot at the convention. The roll call yielded 289 votes for Songas, placing him in third place behind Clinton and then former California governor Jerry Brown. Topic: <laughs> Post-Senate career. In late 1994, Songas briefly led an effort to establish a third party, to be led by someone with national authority, suggesting General Colin Powell for that role. By that time, Songas was considered the most popular political figure in Massachusetts. He died on January 18, 1997, at age 55 of complications from pneumonia and non-Hodgkin's lymphoma. On January 27, 1998, the Songas Arena in Lowell was dedicated in his honor. In a special election held on October 16, 2007, his widow Nikki won the Massachusetts congressional seat that Songas once held, Preservation Massachusetts, a statewide nonprofit focused on preserving Massachusetts history, has an annual Paul Songas Award to honor restoration workers in the state. Topic: Death His obituary in the New York Times of January 20, 1997 states, Mr. Songas, who was hospitalized on January 3 with a liver problem related to his treatments for non-Hodgkin's lymphoma, a slow-growing cancer of the lymph system, and later developed pneumonia, died at Brigham and Women's Hospital. Mr. Songas made his survival from cancer an issue in his presidential campaign when he and two of his doctors, Dr. Toktik Vorian and Dr. George P. Canellos, said he had been cancer-free since a bone marrow transplant in 1986. In May 1996, he underwent another transplant, getting bone marrow from his twin sister, Thalia Schlesinger, to correct myelodysplasia, a bone marrow disorder that can occur in people who have recovered from lymph cancer. Electoral history Massachusetts 5th District, 1974 Paul Songas, D. 99,518, 60.64% Paul W. Cronin, R. Inc. 64,596, 39.36% Massachusetts 5th District, 1976 Paul Songas, D. Inc. 144,217, 67.31%. Roger P. Durkin, D. 70,036, 32.69%. Democratic primary for the United States Senate from Massachusetts, 1978. Paul Songas, 296,915, 35.55%. Paul Guzzi 258,960 31.01% Kathleen Alioto 161,036 19.28% Howard Phillips 65,397 7.83% Elaine Noble 52,464 6.28% Others 379 0.05% Massachusetts United States Senate election 1978 Paul Songas D 1,093,283 55.06% percent Edward Brooke R Inc 890,584 44.85% percent Others 1,833 0.09% United States presidential election, 1992 Democratic primaries 
Bill Clinton 10,482,411 52.01% Hillary Clinton 1,850,000 20.20% Paul Songas 3,656,010 18.14% Unpledged 750,873 3.73% Bob Carey 318,457 1.58% Tom Harkin 280,304 1.39% Lyndon LaRouche 154,599 0.77% Eugene McCarthy 108,678 0.54% Charles Woods 88,948 0.44% Larry Agron 58,611 0.29% Ross Perot right in 54,755 0.27% Ralph Nader right in 35,935 0.18% Louis J. Stokes 29,983 0. 15% See also Democratic Party United States Presidential Primaries, 1992 Atari Democrat